Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by WordLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to double space your paragraphs in Microsoft Word. Today's question comes from Suzanne, a Platinum member. She says, I have a confession to make. I've been using Word for years, but I've never had to double space a document. Now I'm taking my first college course and the professor wants all of our work submitted double spaced. I had to do an assignment last night and I just hit enter at the end of each line. How do I do this? Help. Well, Suzanne, I cover this in my Microsoft Word Beginner Level 2 class. But since you're a Platinum member, and since I get a lot of emails from people asking questions just like this, I'm going to go ahead and do a tech help video for it. Okay, Suzanne, here I am inside of Microsoft Word, and I've got a document that I just typed in. Actually, I copied and pasted it from my website, but let's pretend I just typed it in. Now the way you should be typing in your documents is you keep typing, you keep typing until you get to the end of the line, and you keep typing and keep typing. And when you get to the end of a paragraph, you press the Enter key. It's the only time you press the Enter key. Now you can see all of those Enter keys, even though they're not visible on the document. If you come up under the Home tab, go to the Paragraph section, and click on this Paragraph button right here. It says Show Hide Paragraph button. All right. You see those little P marks right there, those backward P's? That's all the times you pressed Enter and that should only be after the end of a paragraph. I'm gonna leave those on for the rest of this video. I like to leave those on when I'm formatting my document. When I'm typing, they're kind of a distraction, and you can see little spaces here, all those little dots, okay? But when I'm done with my document and it's time to format it, then I like to turn the paragraph marks on. Okay, to change our line spacing to double space, go back in this paragraph group and find this button right here. It says line and paragraph spacing. Drop that down, and then for double space, pick 2.0. Click on that, and you can see that the paragraph that was under the cursor, the cursor is that blinking line right there, that's where you're typing, that's the only one that got double spaced. So let's undo that. I'm gonna hit undo, or, or hit Control Z on your keyboard for undo. What we have to do now is select the entire document. There's a couple of ways to do that. There's a couple of ways to do pretty much everything in Microsoft Office. We can take our mouse, come over here in the margin, click and drag, That'll select whatever you want. That's handy for selecting like two paragraphs, for example, like that. Or you can simply press Control A on your keyboard. All right, once again, that's Control A to select all the text. So now that I've got all my text selected, come back to that button that changed the line spacing and change it to two. And now you can see all of your paragraphs are now double spaced. And you can see it didn't actually add a return after each line. Right? That's what you were doing. You were basically pressing enter after each line and leaving two blanks there. I can continue to type anywhere in here and the, and the words continue to wrap around. See that? Now I can save and print my document and it will show up as double spaced. Okay, so that's all for today's video. In the extended cut, I will talk about more of the paragraph options. I will show you how to control the paragraph spacing before and after each paragraph. We'll also talk about line spacing between the lines inside the paragraph. I'll show you the difference between exactly, at least, and multiple. How do you become a member? Well, click on that join button below the video on my YouTube channel. You'll get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos. Most of them are for Microsoft Access, but I'm going to try to release more for Word and Excel as well, and PowerPoint and Outlook and all the other ones. So even if you don't use Microsoft Access, there will still be stuff for you. I've also got live video and chat sessions and some other perks. Just click on that join button and you'll see all the different membership levels that are available. But thank you very much and I appreciate you watching. These tech help videos uh, will be free. Don't worry about that. They're always going to be free. So make sure you subscribe to my channel. Again, that's free. Click the little bell and pick all and you'll get an email notification every time I upload a new video. Stop by my website and visit the Microsoft Word forum. And don't forget to click on the show more link below the video. Uh, YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding this, but sometimes I have lots of other information and links for different stuff that's down below the video. So make sure you check that out. Now, if you haven't taken my free Microsoft Word Level 1 course yet, please do. It's absolutely free. It's an hour long full tutorial, teaches you all the basics of Word. And if you like Level 1, Level 2 is just a dollar. In fact, Level 2 is when I cover the paragraph spacing options in a lot more detail, the stuff that we talked about in today's class. And if you do become a YouTube member, any level, you get level two for free. If you would like to see your question answered in a video just like this one, submit it on my tech help page. And if I like it, I'll make a video. 
You can also email me directly. There's my email address. And be sure to find me on my website, Facebook, Twitter, and of course here on YouTube. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something and we'll see you next time. Keep learning.